guys, I'm Ruben Furtado with the Furtado Group and I'm super excited to bring you today's video. It's actually regarding a, a new post that we posted on our Instagram. So if you guys aren't following us on Instagram and you want to do so, you can follow us at, at the Furtado Group. And one thing that's really interesting about this particular post is it actually ties in with a question that I get a lot from our clients, which is, hey, I'm actually either considering doing a build or I want to buy something turnkey. Which way should I go? And it really comes down to value. So let's quickly pop over to my phone here so I can actually share this with you. So let me just record, record the screen. All right. And I'm going to open up Instagram here and go to our latest post. So this is actually a property in Southeast Oakville. And a couple things you want to look at just already on the exterior is that you'll see, let me kind of zoom in here. Is that wood cladding material? If it's wood, generally that's going to be a lot less expensive. However, this is actually a product called Maybach. And the average cost per square foot on something like that is around $35 a square foot. So you could tell they spent some money on the exterior here. And then they also use some natural stone. But when we look into some of the other images, here's a couple of things already, some of the details. If you look at the ceiling detail, they did a reverse coffered ceiling with accent lighting. This staircase, to give you an example, this staircase, to do this staircase today with the glass, the open riser, you're gonna be spending somewhere in the neighborhood around thirty-five dollars to $40,000 compared to your typical staircase that you would see in a house, which would be wood or your wrought iron pickets. It's probably gonna cost you somewhere in the neighborhood around eighteen dollars to twenty dollars at most. So this is almost double the cost. So when you look at construction, it has a huge impact on construction. And I'll tell you ultimately what it would cost per square foot to build a house like this. So that's another feature there that you want to, that would certainly stand out. Also the size of the rooms. This is a massive family room. Uh, they did do a um, linear fireplace. Um, if I continue across here, also it, this house is not a home that was built on spec. So it is completely turnkey. So it uh, has all the window coverings, a lot of the blinds, especially the ones in the main floor all are, are automated as well. Um, here's another view that you really see the, the entire area, which is going to be the staircase in the family room. Um, then you have your walkout that has a covered porch, which is another thing that's going to increase the cost and difficult to do because a lot of these lots now, when you're trying to get and you're building on maximum, like you're really building the, uh, the maximum size house you can, you have issues with lot coverage and that'll include a covered porch where here we have it because this lot is oversized. Um, then you look at the back here, you'll see the kitchen, and we'll get into more uh, closer shots of the kitchen. There's that covered porch in the back. It's a irregular lot, a pie shape that talked about the size of the lot here as well too. And then here's an image of the kitchen. So the kitchen is actually, um, what they've done is they've carried the, uh, the countertop as the backsplash. It's all custom with the built-in appliances and they did uh, a gas stove cooktop 36 inch with the stainless steel um, uh, exhaust vent. But if we just go here, this was actually a really cool feature and something that would obviously have a huge impact on cost. They actually built a walk-in pantry, which is a great place to have your built uh, your countertop appliances and just really store everything, and get it out of the way so the kitchen always looks super clean. Um, upstairs in the master bedroom, they did a really nice, elegant master bedroom. And if you see, they did like basically a wet space in here with a his and her shower, double vanities, heated floors. So when you start adding all these things up and then when you go into the basement, let me get rid of that. When you go into the basement, um, we have actually in this basement, nine foot ceilings. And in the basement, it's not just one big open space. You're gonna have a media room area, a rec room area, then you do have a bar area back there. You also have a gym, then you have another bedroom. And then the washroom down here is a three piece washroom with a steam shower. So if I put that down for a second, when you start looking at all these different features, these are things that are gonna distinguish a house that's normally built at around 250 a square foot to something like this house here, it's gonna be closer to $300 a square foot. And at 3,200 square feet, you do the math, you're looking at around 950,000 plus landscaping, plus carrying costs. To buy this lot, you're probably gonna be spending around 950,000. Right now we're offering this house for 45,000. So pretty much it'll be cheaper to actually buy it finished than it would to actually go ahead and build it. So really those are some of the features you're looking for is the, the cladding and some of the interior finishes, the square footage of the house, the lot, the location. 
And if you need help to assess some of those things, we're always here to help you guys out. But if you guys want to see this house personally, feel free to DM us directly or send us a direct message. Uh, and we would love to take you through it and also give you a bit more details and that might be able to help you evaluate other homes in the future. So until next time, guys, take care.